To destroy the concrete shelters, the calculation of the Hyacinth B towing gun used 152 mm ammunition. The Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation has published records of the combat work of the artillery crews of the 29th B of the Artillery Brigade of the Southern Military District (SMD) in the Special Military Operations. Ну, в большой успех зависит от расчета, я больше надеюсь, то что люди понимают, куда попали. У них есть, ну, рвение, победы, и все выполняют грамотно. Особенность на этом роде работ, ну, дальность, дальность, дальность стрельбы хорошая очень. Это очень большой плюс в артиллерии. То есть почти можно быть, находиться далеко от врага и бить по почти по тыловым э, силам противника. Победа будет за нами в любом случае. Все понимают, с кем мы воюем. И, как бы сказать, ну, все серьезно относятся к этому делу, подход. То есть любую задачу мы выполним. During the counter-battery battle, the gun crews attacked identified firing positions of the artillery of the Ukrainian Nationalist Armed Formations, redoubts, and long-range firing points of the militants far from the line of contact. To destroy the concrete shelters, the Russian artillery used 152 mm ammunition. Control of the destruction of enemy objects is carried out by calculations of incorporeal aircraft. To combat enemy drones, servicemen of the RF armed forces widely use electromagnetic weapons that block the work of nationalist UAVs. Success depends on calculations. The people understand where they are, they have the passion to win, they do everything competently, said the gun commander with the call sign, Red. He also noted that the Hyacinth B's feature was its shooting range, which allows you to hit enemies, even in their rear area, at great distances. Earlier, units of the 57mm S-60 anti-aircraft guns of the Kostroma paratroopers destroyed Ukrainian nationalists who were digging in the forest. Under the cover of an armored group on an airborne combat vehicle, the airborne troops went to firing positions and, taking aim, hit the enemy. After that, the calculation of the anti-aircraft installation rapidly changed its position. The material was prepared by Maxim Kryakov and Nikolai Baranov. 